to extra depth now on a family who has ingrained their name on the El Paso fast pitch community. ABC 7's Rachel Phillips looks at how the Luna legacy began. For love of the game. It's the title of the 1999 film starring Kevin Costner. It's the reason Larry Fitzgerald stayed with the Arizona Cardinals. If he scores, it's over. It's insane. And for the Luna family, it's why their name is synonymous with fast pitch softball here in El Paso. Softball and baseball have been in our family since we were born. The Luna family consists of six brothers. Hector, otherwise known as Tati, Jaime, Mando, Javier, Rafa and Sergio, with an age gap of 16 from oldest to youngest. I got all the hand-me-downs, of course, <laughs> but they were all good hand-me-downs. The best of all hand-me-downs, though, the love for fast-pitch softball. He followed me all, all, followed me all the way to Mexico City, <laughs> and we played up there, and he was only about 10, 12 years old. Jaime first started playing fast pitch in 1957. He made the Mexican national team three times, represented the state of Chihuahua in the national championships, and as a pitcher, he says he won more than 200 games. They were behind 10-0 in the first day. He came in relief, and they won the game, the championship game, put him into the state championship. And watching him put hoisted on his shoulders, just a tear of eye. Growing up, he was my idol. <laughs> Tati was the only brother who didn't follow in the footsteps of Jaime. When he was 14, he became totally blind. Even though Tati couldn't see, it was his name that steered the vision of the Luna legacy. In the mid-60s, the Lunas decided to form their own organization. We were looking for names and the lions and all sorts of, of mascots. And it occurred to someone, oh, why don't we call it Tati's? He was always around. Excuse me, growing up. Tati's sports club lasted for 44 years, and it's a big reason why today four of the six brothers are in the El Paso Fast Pitch Hall of Fame, with Rafa and Sergio getting inducted just last week. But the Luna legacy extends far beyond the brothers. Three of the second generation of Lunas are also in the Hall of Fame. When they were short of player, guess what? They would put us in 13 years old, 12, they would always put us in right field because that's not where they can hit the ball. Thankfully, I wasn't thrown out in right field and instead got some one-on-one -on -one lessons from the Hall of Famers. Back, forward. Oh, oh good it's ball. okay. There you go. Oh. There, you see? Okay. I went like this for cricket. That's what, that's oh, what that's I'm right. used to. And while I was getting better. There you go. Hey. That's a perfect yeah. My pitches had nothing on what you typically face in a game of fast pitch, where the mound is closer than in baseball. You get some guys 6'4", 6'5", 205 pitching, and now that the, they can hop into the pitch, they're literally about 15 feet away from you, and the ball's coming in about 80, 90 miles an hour. Fast pitch hooked the Lunars to the moon and back, which is why having seven members in the Hall of Fame is made that bit sweeter. Sergio Luna. It was a family game. You know, we played, we loved the game, we treasured the game. I feel very proud. I mean, it's the greatest thing for me, to, a, great, a greatest feeling that I have. He went to the world. I wish my parents were here. It's just, it's just over, it's overwhelming. We can't, I can't express it. For the Lunas, it was never about building a legacy. Throw it, AJ. Throw it. But simply, for love of the game. Good and job. Rachel Phillips. ABC 7. And Rafa, one of the brothers who was inducted just last week, was not able to be at the ceremony because he's in the hospital. And we here at ABC 7 hope he gets well soon and that this story puts a smile on his face. Really wonderful to hear their legacy.